Mic check, mic check. Hello, everybody. Let me know if you guys can hear me clearly. Let me know if you guys can hear me clearly. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, LG. Yeah, summertime is here. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready for this equinox. While we're uh, while we're letting some more people come through, uh, you know, let me know where you guys are uh tuning in from. What city you guys tuning in from right now? Uh, as you may already know, I'm tuning in from Philadelphia, PA, United States. For those people that are international, peace, peace. Billionaire, thank you. Thank you. Peace and love, everybody. Bristol, UK. Shout out to Bristol, UK. Shout out to Florida. Oh, we got oh, we got somebody from Ghana. Peace and love to you. Shout outs to Ghana. Okay, a couple, a little bit more time. A little bit more time, guys. I appreciate your patience. We got a, we got some talk to do today. <laughs> you know, spirituality, sexuality, and more. All right. I really want to focus on, oh, somebody from London. Shout out to London. I want to, I, I, you know, I appreciate everybody uh, that's international. Uh, I get a lot of people from overseas, you know. Maybe Americans are not ready for the real message. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got a we got a great talk today. You know, I thought I would touch upon. I know I did a whole video on spirituality and sexuality before, but I want to touch base even deeper because um, I just get so many questions all the time. You know, so, get so many questions concerning something around these topics, and I want to give you guys the truth. You know, like I said, like I'm always saying uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of deception on YouTube and Google. And this is because anybody can get on YouTube and Google. So the thing is, uh, we have to combat the fake information and come with the real information. So, you know, I'm going to give you guys the truth, the honest, honest truth. All right. About spirituality and sexuality. And why a lot of spiritual teachers downplay sexuality. Oh, well, yeah, we're, we're going in deep. We're going in deep. <laughs> Hold on one second, everyone. Pull up something real quick. Some, at least I had some notes, but I, hey, I usually like to just freestyle with it, guys, you know, and just, just tell you guys what I got to say. So, <clears throat> Um, before I start, because I still kind of want to give some time for a couple more people to get in this live stream, is there anybody is does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask me before I start on this lecture? Again, this is a live stream, um, Q and A live stream. So feel free to ask me any questions. I have this. I have the uh, the comments right here. <clears throat> okay. And this is for you guys, you know, I, I, like I said, I really want to connect with you guys more and I'm appreciative of everybody that tunes in and supports this channel, um, you know, this channel, you know, dealing with spirituality and helping people and doing consultations. It, it's really time consuming and it takes a lot of energy, um, but it's what I love to do. So I appreciate everybody, even if you haven't got a consultation with me yet. That's totally fine. I still uh, I still appreciate you tuning in to the channel, listening to the information, liking, subscribing, sharing, whatever it is that you're doing. Wrestling superstar, peace and blessings, brother. Okay, so LG is saying, yeah, I have a personal psychic mentor to advise me about no fat. What's your thoughts on that? Um, 
here's the thing. See, I am with no fat, all right? But maybe for a different reason, you know? It's not so much because here, here's the thing, what I want to talk about, which I, I'm i glad, that's a great question, LG, because I'm glad you brought that up. The real, one of the biggest reasons why no fat is very important is not so much for the masturbation. It's for the rush of dopamine that you get for not doing anything, AKA watching porn. Porn is the problem, guys, okay? Why? It's a very simple reason, because you're conditioning your body to get dopamine for nothing. For example, when you turn on some, I mean, nowadays the internet is so fruitful, right? <laughs> you can go right on Google, type in some porn and get the dopamine that you need. This is messing you up because that's not how real life works, okay? You can't just walk outside click your fingers and, and get a female and get that rush of dopamine. That's not how it works. You actually have to work for something. You have to pursue a mate and male and females. I know it's not just males that watch porn. Okay. Um, you actually have to pursue a mate. Okay. Uh, uh, no fat means basically no masturbation or porn. I mean, there's some, some different factions to it, but I take it as no masturbation, no porn. Right. Which, like I told you, masturbation is not the problem. Porn is the problem because you're getting a rush of dopamine for achieving nothing, for doing nothing. OK, I mean, master. Yes, masturbation. You do get some dopamine, too, if you're not watching porn. Um, the second thing, of course, is the spilling of the seed. You know, a lot of a lot of men spill the seed way too often. So you got to go to my uh, to my video called the interjaculation technique. Okay, I teach I teach you guys how to do the interjaculation technique. All right. All right, I teach you guys how to do the interjaculation technique. So here's the thing, you can still masturbate, right? But you won't be spilling the seed cuz that's the second problem. Spilling the seed too much. First problem is porn, like I say you're getting a rush of dopamine for no work. That's conditioning your body is conditioning your body and your mind to achieve that dopamine for nothing. You see? So, and this is why people are so impatient today with that. Everything, but we're just talking about sexuality here. But everybody's so impatient when it comes to connecting with others. So let's just say you meet a girl or you meet a guy, they do one small little thing. You're already, oh, uh, I can't deal with this. You're conditioning, like I said, because you conditioned your body to be so weak. You conditioned your willpower to be so weak. If you're not receiving dopamine 100% of the time, you're ready to run away because of weakness. Okay? And that's what porn will do to you. You know? So, again, for those of you that are still addicted to it, it is a hard thing to get out of, again, because it's an addiction. But once you achieve that, you know, you'll notice the difference. You'll notice the differences. All right? Now, as far as the semen, again, it is life energy. But here's the thing, guys. You're not supposed. See, the thing is that we in this in this generation, we do it too. We spill it too much. All right. It's not saying that you're never supposed to spill it ever at all in your whole entire life. And if you make a mistake, because I've had a client of mine, right, who said, hey, I've, I've uh, abstained from ejaculating for the last nine months. And I had a wet dream because that usually what happens is usually what happens. If you get to that point where you abstained from spilling seed for a long period of time, guess what your body's going to do, guys? <laughs> it's going to come out either way, most of the time. All right. Because it's, that's not the that's not the thing. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this video, because I want to clarify some things. We are spilling seed too much. Obviously, you're here to spill seed uh, eventually, right? <laughs> you know, it, again, it's not, you're not meant to, what you're doing is trying to control nature. And that's the problem that we have in this generation. We are always trying to control nature, control the feminine, because sexuality is the feminine. Okay? You're, that's what I want to get into. You know, so hold on one second, everybody. Keep the questions coming too.
Keep the questions coming too, because I'm paying attention. Is there any other questions concerning no fap or the porn addiction thing? Okay. Any other questions concerning no fap? Because if there's not, I'll jump into the lecture right now. Give you guys a couple seconds because I know it's like delayed. Comment section is delayed for some reason. I don't know why YouTube needs to update their stuff. <laughs> okay, so I guess there's no questions concerning no fat. All right, so main thing I want to get into first, number one thing is I brought this up in many videos is the Kundalini. Okay, because down at the bottom of your tailbone, tail tailbone, tailbone. Okay, is the coiled snake or the coiled dragon, or you know what they say, the coiled snake or the coiled dragon? Um, a lot of people don't know what this energy is. We we talk about this energy all the time, but a lot of people don't know what this energy is. Now, by the way, this coiled snake or coiled dragon, um, sits about this high, so it covers your root chakra and your sacral chakra. These are very two important areas that we're going to need to talk about. Okay your root chakra and your sacral chakra. So your root chakra is responsible for your desire to procreate. Okay, I'm responsible for many other things, but I'm, I'm sticking on sexuality here. It's responsible for your urge to procreate. Your sacral chakra is responsible for your urge to connect with the opposite sex or just the opposite energy because yes, it could be same sex, but the other person represents the opposite energy. So this is why even in same sex relationships, right? You have one that represents masculine energy. You have another that represents feminine energy. It will always have to follow by those rules, regardless of the actual sex of the being. You see, there's, there's women who can represent the masculine energy and the male represents the feminine energy. That's how it goes. So if you see a woman who's extra masculine, she's going to need to attract a, a male who's more feminine. That's how it goes. Two masculine characters cannot coexist together. For a short period of time, yes, but it will not last long. All right. It will not be healthy. It will not be a healthy relationship. Two feminine characters can't coexist together either for too long. It's not going to be healthy. Okay. So back to this energy. Kundalini energy is the sexual energy that's sitting at the bottom of your tailbone, okay, that's sitting at the bottom of your tailbone that is taking up the space of your root chakra and your sacral chakra, all right? So now what I want to talk about is enlightenment. Keep that in mind because now I want to talk about enlightenment. Here's, this, here's the secret. Here's the key, guys, because they say enlightenment is when this energy reaches your crown chakra, correct? OK, so what does this tell you? This this means your sexuality goes up, goes up your spine, uh, revitalizes your solar plexus, revitalizes your heart chakra, revitalizes your your throat chakra, revitalizes your third eye to your crown. And once you achieve that. What happens is this energy revitalizes your brain. OK. And what does that mean? See. You have two different things. You have your spirit, right? Your spirit is being channeled into your brain. So what am I trying to tell you? If your brain is healthy and 100% lit up, that means more spirit can be channeled into your being, into your brain. You see what I'm saying? This is why healthy brain, healthy spirit, I mean, everything is connected. Okay, now this energy I, I tell people all the time, sexual energy, sexual excitement is the only energy. I know it's hard to believe. All right. But I got to give you guys the truth. Sexual excitement is the only energy that lights up your brain fully. You need dopamine, serotonin and oxytocin. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into what these three chemicals are, but I'm going to review them quickly. Dopamine is your feel good chemical. OK, it's like when you get a present or you get uh, or somebody uh, somebody says or a stranger comes up to you and says, you know, you look really beautiful or you are really handsome. You get a little boost of dopamine. It's a feel good chemical. It's your rewarding system. OK, 
serotonin is like they call it the happy chemical so basically you get serotonin uh an example would be if you have if you meet somebody with high status let's just say your favorite um let's just say your favorite celebrity says hey come out and hang with me for a day you'll get a boost in serotonin again these are very very vague all right I'm, like I said, I'm not going to get into too much psychology here, but psychology is very important. You need to understand that. But like I said, let's just say Jay-Z, if you're a fan of Jay-Z, says, hey, such and such, come out and hang with me for a day. You get a boost in serotonin, all right? Because it's, you're, you're meeting somebody with high status. You're around somebody with high status, okay? Um, now, oxytocin is the sexual chemical this is when um and by the way you don't always get this chemical when you're when you're sexual but it can lead to sexuality all right so this is when somebody holds you let's just say a very attractive woman or male holds you it's the skin skin to skin connection between two beings or you know somebody is showing real intense desire towards you all right kissing touching this is releasing oxytocin. Now, what happens when these three chemicals are combined? Now, again, I'm just talking about these simple three chemicals because they're connected to sexuality, but there's so much more going on with your brain. But your sexuality, when you're sexually excited fully, when you're sexually excited fully, which masturbation does not cover this, you don't, you do not get all three of these chemicals through masturbation or porn. You can only get this when you're with somebody else. So what does that tell you? You can only get dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin all in one when you're sexually excited with another being. You can't get this through masturbation. You can't get this through porn. You can't get this with somebody you're not truly sexually excited with. So that's another thing. Think about it, especially when you were young, right? Especially ladies, you probably noticed when you were young, you got around somebody, males too, you got around somebody and it just energized your whole entire system. That was the sexual excitement going up your spine, touching your crown chakra. You see what I'm saying? And everybody knows when you're in love, you do some, you could do some crazy messed up things, right? But you when you're focused on getting the attention of somebody that you receive dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin from. Males are a big prime example. They will start skyrocketing success-wise because they want that rush of these three chemicals. Miss Green Eyes, hey, how are you? Appreciate you for coming into the live stream. I appreciate everybody for coming into the live stream. If anybody has any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them okay so here's the thing guys like i said true the enlightenment what everybody is trying to um what everybody is trying to accomplish is this kundalini energy going up the spine and touching your crown chakra but what they're not telling you is that you cannot do this fully alone yes you can make progress by yourself Yes, in the beginning, you have to learn knowledge of self. This is why I tell you guys to get the astrology readings. Okay, even if you don't receive them from me, um, if you don't have the money to pay for a reading, you need to be studying this yourself. You need to still pay for the books. You need to still do the research. You need to still study thyself so you, you can know who you are sexually because it's a big key. I tell people all the time, Mars is the key. Mars is responsible for your sexuality and your energy and your anger and so on and so forth. These are all the same energy. Okay. So <clears throat> again, what we're trying to achieve is that you can't, what I'm trying to tell you is that you cannot awaken yourself fully alone. You're not designed to do that. Okay. This is why you have a masculine, you have a feminine, you have two halves. So the universe is trying to tell you, you need to search for your other half. 
And remember, this is not somebody that it, it, it's not saying that you have to be with one particular person your whole entire life. Like you have one soulmate, you have soulmates. OK, you have a soulmate for each part of your life. Even when you're a, a child, your soulmate is that one best friend that you've had. You know, you guys connect, you guys just connect like this. Yes, it's not sexual yet. OK, it's not sexual. OK, it's not sexual until you become puberty. That's your next part of living. You're a whole different being. You've evolved from childhood. Now you're a whole nother being. You also have a, a, a soulmate for that part of your life and it's so on and so forth. And yes, some of these people will stay for more than one part of your life. But remember, everything has an expiration date. A lot of the relationships we're in are, are, are void. It's over. We passed the expiration date. The reason why you're staying with that individual is because you've become comfortable. And I've told you guys beforehand what it means to be too comfortable. Your energy starts plummeting. You start going down. You guys have to respect um, expiration dates. You guys know when the relationship is over or the friendship is over, but you continue to do so because you're comfortable with this individual. You're comfortable with how everything is going. You're scared of change. And guess what that does to your energy? You cannot awaken. So like I said, it doesn't matter how much yoga you do, how much herbs you take, how much meditation you do. If you're surrounding yourself with, with low energy, you're going to be low energy. You can know all this information, but if you don't apply it, it doesn't mean anything. OK, knowledge is potential power. It's not power. It's potential power, because if you have the knowledge to, to create a business and you don't create it. It doesn't matter. OK, so LG, do you think there is two bodies in one? For example, the brain of your upper body is your head and the brain of your lower body is your gut. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, everybody has masculine and feminine energy. Here's the thing, but you still need another outside being. Yes, you have you rep, you're represented by four elements: earth, water, representing the feminine. Okay, so that means your body and your emotions are feminine, and then um, air and fire, which represent the thoughts and the spirit, which are masculine. Okay, I'll give you another example. The conscious mind is masculine, the subconscious mind is feminine. Okay, so there's all these different factions. You have yin, you have yin and yang inside of you. All right, which you need to balance out your, yourself. Guess what, guys? Sexuality, your your bodily urges. I always tell people, because of the generations we've lived in, because of you know how society has taught us, we always deem anything feminine, bad or evil, including today. The reason why this battle of the sex is because everybody's masculine. OK, even the women, everybody's masculine. OK, everybody's masculine. That's why we can't get along. But I tell you about two masculine characters doesn't work. Now, you're probably saying, well, why is that? The case. Well, remember, if you want to control it, a people, if you want to control a large amount of people, you don't want them to be feminine. Why? Because feminine represents chaos. You can't control it. It represents unpredictability. Right. So you're going to need everybody to be masculine because the masculine follows in a line. So it's very predictable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in the day, women used to wrap their fingers around men. Right. Because it was easy to predict them. That's where you get the woman's intuition. She just knew things. OK, it's not so much like that anymore, is it? Because now even the women have become masculine as well because they've been introduced to the beast. They've been introduced to the system. They've been swallowed up just like the men were swallowed up a long time ago. All right. Now women have been swallowed up in the same system. That makes you masculine, that makes you one track mind, that turns you into a zombie, that makes turns you into a robot. Okay. The feminine is chaos. 
but beautiful chaos. I don't see even the word chaos we think is bad and evil because it's associated with feminine, with the feminine. So back to what I'm saying, your bodily urges, right? Represent the feminine, but what do they tell you? Your bodily urges are wrong. Your bodily urges are evil. You need to control them. Okay, you need to control your urges. And well, here's the thing. They let me take that back. They say you need to eliminate your urges because what you have to do is you have to, you know, you have to fine tune them, control them. But utilize them because what happens when you try to suppress something, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. This is why you have people committing adultery and rape and all this stuff because they continue to suppress. Now, yes, I know it comes from a, a lot of these people come from childhood trauma. They were raped as children. But remember, somebody had to start this because it's a cycle. Somebody gets raped as a child and they want to rape in, uh, in their adulthood. But who? where did it come from? So think deeper, guys, when I'm speaking about this stuff. It comes from suppressing your your urges. When you suppress things, it becomes bigger and bigger and they form into entities, AKA demons. You're responsible for creating your own demons, even oppression, even anxiety, all these things you are responsible for creating, okay? You're responsible for creating these things. Now, you might not have been aware that you were creating them, but that doesn't take away the fact that you're responsible for this. And I'm gonna get deeper into that, but I'm gonna look at some of these um, comments. So Miss Green, as you're saying, this makes sense. A lot of women are being programmed out of their feminine. Yeah. Um, how can women and men tune into their feminine energy? Great example. This is where sexuality comes. I mean, great question. This is where sexuality comes in. Remember my video on the shadow self. Remember the darkness represents the feminine as well. We just see darkness as evil. And this is why I say, you no, know, you have to feed your shadow self because it's not going anywhere, guys. As long as you're alive, you're always going to have a shadow, right? You can try to run away from your shadow as much as possible, you know, uh, but as long as you're in the light, you can best believe behind you you're going to have that shadow because it's just as important. There's no one better than the other. Masculine energy is not better than feminine energy. And feminine energy is not better than masculine energy. Again, they want to take away your feminine energy so you are very, very predictable. Okay? They're predicting what you're going to do, what humanity is going to do 100 years from now. Because it's easy to see. If you study psychology and you study humanity and you study history, you will know what's going to happen to basic people. individuals you know where life's going to go so how to tune into this feminine energy you've got to become more familiar with it okay so that means you're going to have to go inside yourself and talk to your shadow self what are some of these urges that you that you have prime example to see who you really are deep down inside which i know is crazy to think think about but i want to break it down first the alchemist created alcohol for a specific reason okay this is why it's called alcohol, alchemist alcohol. It was created by the, the alchemist. Now, dumb people and dumb historians, they say, oh, the alchemists were trying to turn physical lead into physical gold. That's not what it was. That's the cover-up story, guys, because they don't want you to know what they were doing. I told you, get with these secret societies. Secret societies are not the evil ones. Of course, they want to project it that so... If the ones that are in power want to project you, want to project to you that these people are evil, so you don't follow them, so you go totally against them when they're trying to give you the truth. They were exiled. That's the reason they had to be secret because they were being killed by the Pope, by religion, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. These are your problems here, okay? Now I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna break down too because I know you're probably saying, whoa, whoa, Buddhism, what? What does that mean? How is Buddhism a part of this? It's all these, this, these all popped up during the same time and what did they do? They took away the feminine aspect, which was a lot of these uh, cultures were, were um, 
I don't want to, I don't like to say worship, but they were given energy to multiple deities. So they would have a deity for the plants again, but the way that we interpret it is not how it was. Cause we say, Oh, this person, um, these individuals were worshiping the God, these gods, they weren't called gods in the sense of what we know as gods. They knew they were worshiping, they weren't worshiping, they were acknowledging spirit. So they knew that there is a spirit of the wind. They knew there's a spirit of the earth and so on and so forth. Now, what happened was, okay, these individuals are on top. Now they said, no, 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 no. We need to worship one because that's what something masculinity would do. Okay. Masculinity is all about ego. So you need to worship one thing and everything else is obsolete. Okay. This is where your whole so-called thing where we have to only be with one person. Your whole entire life that comes from religion, right? Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, Christianity. Okay. Uh, let me look at some of these. Okay. The character of Victoria Lord of the series One Life to Live was raped by her dad for many years, beginning at age to cause to have seven altars within her psyche. Okay. I don't know why YouTube is hiding some of these comments. Okay. Hold on one second, everybody. All right, so how can we explain the differences between masculine and feminine energy? Great, it's very, very simple. Masculine energy projects, feminine energy absorbs, okay? And you can apply this to anything in life, all right? So right now, the audience, you guys listening are playing the feminine role because you're absorbing what I'm saying. You see, what, you get what I mean? You're absorbing my message. I'm playing the masculine role because I'm projecting my perception to you. All right. So essentially, this is why a man has a penis that comes out. It goes out, right? And he sticks the penis in the woman's vagina. She absorbs, she takes in, she takes in, she absorbs the male. When he ejaculates, she absorbs the substance and then uses that substance to create another human being. It's very, very simple to understand. Like I said, we can apply this to anything. So when you think about men, think about projection, okay? When they go out into the world, what do they do? They project, project, project. At least masculine characters do. Remember, we're all masculine now. <laughs> okay, so everybody's projecting. Social media has let us explode with perception. We go on, we make these statuses, we we tell the world that this is what's right and everything else is wrong. Okay, yes, male energy is positive, feminine energy is negative. Now, I don't mean positive and negative like positive meaning good and negative meaning bad. It's it's like the battery. Negative energy, positive energy on one side. You need both of those sides for you to coexist, right? Okay? You need both sides to coexist. So yes, male energy is positive energy. Feminine energy is negative energy, but not meaning good and bad. We have to change our perception on what these words mean. Okay? Like a negative charge and a positive charge. You need... Both of these energies to coexist is just like the magnet as well. You need a positive charge and a negative charge. These are this is the truth, guys. This is what they don't want to tell you. Okay, so for another example, okay, um, is that masculine because it's projecting, right? It wants to stand alone. So a lot of masculine people. It's all about me, 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 right? Why do you think everybody is single now? <laughs> or at least, even if they're in relationships, they don't even know they're still single. 
because they're only focusing on their perception of everything. And here's the thing. If you're not with their perception, you get tossed to the wayside because we don't understand. We just don't understand. OK. That's why relationships don't work out today, because everybody's masculine. Everybody's trying to take charge. Everybody's trying to be the center of attention. It's all about me, me, me and my needs and what I want and what I deserve, you know, go on people's Facebook statuses, they'll say, this is what I deserve and what I need and what I want. They never talk about what they give. And I've seen the memes by saying, I do this and I, they're not doing none of that stuff. Okay. You want the center of attention. All right, yes, like yin and yang. This green eyes like yin and yang that's what it is yin is the feminine yang is the masculine yang is the light yin is the darkness okay no one is more important than the other you need both you need to walk the middle path this is what i'm trying to teach you guys i say this all the time right and i'm telling you to be the occultist the real occultist not what they're teaching you on youtube and they talk about this devil worshiping and stuff like that i'm telling you the occultist means you walk the middle path Okay, cultist means you walk the middle path. You're not controlled by either side. You're balancing out the energies. You're Neo in the matrix. You're not trying to ascend out of the matrix. Why did Neo, why did, was they continuously going into the matrix if they were trying to leave the matrix in that movie? Nobody ever thinks about this stuff. You're not trying to ascend out of the matrix. Okay. Yes, attention is a big factor in magic, but remember, you need to balance. <laughs> okay, we're overly masculine today because that, that's what they want us to be. So uh, one big downfall is everybody's trying to do everything on their, by themselves. They're trying to reach spiritual enlightenment by themselves. Yes, being unpolarized in the middle. Like I told you before, here's the secret. You cannot be spiritually enlightened by yourself. Yes, the beginning is to learn yourself. So you do have to, you know, come on your own and you have to, you know, find your self-esteem and find your purpose. OK, but once you find your self-esteem and you find your purpose, you know exactly what you need to do. That's your time to get out of the masculine and go to the feminine, which is connecting with others. Think about all the stories. In religion even Buddha Jesus what they did was they had a period of time to themselves and they found themselves did they go off into an island and never talk to anybody after that though or did they go amongst the people and and spread there and, and connect with others so you find yourself and yes the people are not gonna be on the same page as you you're not here to preach to the choir, okay? So though I'm kind of preaching to the choir right now, I'm in the real world dealing with real people. And I'm not cutting people off because they don't think like me or do the exact same things like me because that will be very unintelligent. And I told you, I'm not telling anybody that they're, uh, they're, they're unintelligent, but a lot of people do unintelligent things like cut people off that don't think like you. Delete somebody off Facebook that doesn't agree with you. That's a very, very unintelligent thing to do. Okay, so if you're doing those unintelligent things, you need to change it now and start becoming intelligent. You don't need to bash people who don't think like you. So, but again, because, um, again, I want to talk about some of these religions who make you control your sexuality, who make you want to. Who, who are trying to make you have your sexuality disappear because this is essentially a, a thing. All the, all the major religions, like I told you, Buddhism, Judaism, Hinduism, I mean, not Hinduism, not Hinduism, but the, all, the, all the, the religions that make you wanna believe focus on one thing because that doesn't make any sense. Nature doesn't work like that, okay? You have a sun and a moon. You have other planets. You have the planet that we're walking on right now. 
You have trees, you have animals, you have the fire element, you have the water element, you have uh, the air element, okay? You have other individuals, other gods and goddesses here, which would be the individuals is what I mean, you know? Other beings here, okay? You have bacteria, you have, uh, I could go on and on of all these different factions of life. Okay, so making my point, the reason why these were created and the reason why they they want to control sexuality is because sexuality is feminine, because it comes from your bodily urges. Remember, I told you it comes from your emotions and your body. The feminine rules your emotions and the feminine rules your body. So you have these urges to want to have sexual experiences with multiple people. Okay. Yes, I said multiple people. And I'm not telling everybody to be poly this or poly that, okay? Because there are going to be some people that you want to be with alone, one-on-one, -on -one, for a long period of time. But then it becomes unhealthy and toxic because you're not paying attention to expiration dates. You see? There's an expiration date for everything. So again, I'm a, before I answer the next question... I want to put this out there again for anybody that's new in the chat room that uh, you cannot reach spiritual enlightenment. This is a this is the truth, guys. You cannot reach spiritual enlightenment by yourself. Again, down at the bottom of your tailbone lies the coiled snake or the coiled dragon that's taken that's um, taken up the space of your root chakra and your sacral chakra. What you need to do is get this energy to come up your spine and go to your uh, crown chakra and it lights up your whole entire brain sexual excitement is the only energy that lights up your whole entire brain dopamine serotonin uh, dopamine serotonin and oxytocin again i'll break it down dopamine is the feel-good chemical if somebody gives you a gift a surprise gift you get a boost in dopamine serotonin is your happiness your happiness chemical if you uh if you meet somebody of high status and they want to hang out with you, you get a boost in serotonin. Oxytocin is your sexual chemical. When somebody holds you, touches you, kisses you, you get a boost in uh, oxytocin. When you mix these three, chem three chemicals together, boom, you have an explosion, which is your awakening. You get to touch nirvana. You get to touch the gates of heaven. Yes, it doesn't last long. You have to keep pushing and get to that state where you're there permanently. Okay. So, all right, Miss Green Eyes, what happens energetically when a man and a woman are intimate together? I had a weird dream about this when the man's and woman's chakras aligned and it was a kundalini death. That's what happens. So, sexual lesson. Since none of us receive sex education, sex education is in Tantra and Karma Sutra, not your, not your school, in middle school, what we learned. They said put on condoms and don't get STDs. That wasn't sex education. Sex education is learning about masculine and feminine energies and how they connect together. So sex education lesson, right? All right. So a man's projecting, right? Two beings together, woman right here, man right here. Uh, he's the projector. He's projecting. I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean just slap me right there, but you know, I get passionate when I'm talking, but you guys know what I mean. So he's projecting. Projecting, projecting, creating vibration. What happens? Two sticks rubbing together creates fire, right? You're creating energy. So when you're, guys, you got to match the woman's vibration. All right? I'm going to teach you something. You have, to, you have to match the woman's vibration. Ladies, if you're the one that doesn't like the, if, if you just want to lay there, you, you're not going to experience what you need to experience. You need to move your body. Because you represent the vibration, because you represent the earth, the physical body. So he needs to match your vibration. Guys, you cannot have sex with this, with every woman the same. You have to match her vibration. So when she's moving, it's like dancing. You want to dance with her. Okay? You match her vibration. You dance with her. You're creating friction. You're creating vibration because you're projecting, projecting, projecting. She's absorbing, absorbing. Woman, you're absorbing the male. Yes, his personality traits, his likes and dislikes, you are absorbing him. All right? You're, you're fusing the sacral chakras. 
the woman's sake, this woman's chakras light up first. Why? Because she's the, she represents creation. She represents the number three. And well, number two, number three. Three is the three is the creation. I'm sorry. Number two, woman represents number two. Number three is the creation or child. Man, woman, and child. That's the real trinity. I mean, it's very simple. So she's her chakras are lighting up. Okay, man, you have to control yourself. Okay, you have to control yourself. <laughs> All right, you have to control yourself. Here's the thing. All right, yeah, yeah. So again, you're you're creating fire, you're creating electricity because that's what happens when you when you create friction, right? It's friction. Everything is friction. Right. One, two, three, yeah. One plus two equals three. Yes. So you're creating friction. You're what you're doing, man, is you're sending your energy up her spine. All right. So when she has the enormous uh, orgasm, which she may have multiple orgasms before that, most of the time, yes. Here, here's the thing, ladies. You need multiple orgasms. Yes, I know it's hard because most of these men don't know what they're doing. I get it. <laughs> All right. So this is what I'm telling you guys: multiple orgasms, because 99% of the time, your first orgasm is not going to be the big one. All right, you're gonna have you might have multiple ones going up your spine, right? You might have a couple, and then you reach that big, big one. That's when the energy has reached all the way at the top and you explode. Now, here's the thing, guys. The best thing for you to do is ejaculate at the same time that she is about to reach that big one. It takes a lot of communication. This is sex education. Okay, this is sex education. Here's the thing: you, you gotta learn this stuff, you gotta learn the woman's body. She can have four different types of orgasms. She can have a clitoris orgasm, okay? She can have a G-spot orgasm. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. There's also an there's also a spot in her vagina called the deep spot. It's all the way back there, okay? All the way towards the back, about five inches in to the top, okay? Then there's an A spot. It's all the way back towards the bottom. Four different types of orgasms. If you practice this and you give her all these types of orgasms, she will easily reach this big explosion. Here's the thing. Um, this is, yes, this is sex magic. Okay. So when she's about to reach this point, this is when you can achieve creation, guys. And I'm not just talking about creating another human being. Now, best believe if, if you don't have no, if, you know, if you just ejaculate right inside of her, during that that big explosion she will most likely be pregnant okay most likely but hey here's the thing the in ejaculation technique check out my video on the in ejaculation technique all right but this is not just human creation guys this is what this is what the alchemists are trying to tell you it's not just human creation that you can achieve with this you Now, if you and your partner are focusing on something during this time, most likely it would have to be the man to focus on this because she's about to have her big explosion. Ladies, I know you most likely not going to be able to focus because, I mean, he's the projector, though. That's why he's projecting the image into you while you're having the explosion. You see, then this is when you can create things, sex magic. In a nutshell, of course, there's many, many different details, many more details to this. But again, I am just going vague right now because it's, it's a lot to get in it's a lot to take in all right so that's what happens correctly uh with a man and a woman intercoursing okay you create energy electricity um and not only that but the the energy is moving up the man's spine as well and then you create a aura around the two okay the aura around the two individuals Okay, so um, somebody brought up a question about the Buddhism. And they say, oh, yeah, I thought when you connect, you know, Buddhists are like the highest spiritual individuals, right? And they shave their heads and they shave all their body hair and stuff like that. Okay, Buddhism was, cr was created for people to leave the matrix. 
And I already told you guys, the, the objection is not to try to run away from the matrix. All right. Hinduism was the real religion. Over there in the East, you know. Uh, and you notice they grow their hair out and stuff like that. They, they give multiple, it's multiple energies. It's not just one center. Okay. Now, the reason why Buddhists shave their heads is because they want to disconnect with reality. Because your hair, your antennas connect you with your reality, connect you with your environment. You see? Connects you with your environment. It's your antennas, your spiritual antennas. If you're not trying to connect with the environment, you shave all your body hair off. And you, it, you abstain from sexual desire. Because I told you, nature is feminine right your nature is to procreate so if you're going against the matrix that means you're going against your feminine you see buddhism is masculine like all the like the other religions christianity judaism and islam it was all created during the same time period. And if you really do your history, you will know that these were all used as tools of warfare. Yes, even Buddhism. You better do some history and uh, you better do some history, Japan's history and China's history. You better do some history. OK, and these are all written by the, the, the top, uh, you know, the people in power. They are they're telling you in those scripts that they're using these religions as a system of control. So again, Buddhism is masculine as well. They want you to go against the feminine. So they tell you to abstain from sex, right? Well, sex is in your nature. So you're going against nature. To you growing your hair is, is your nature. It's man-made for you to cut your hair. That's a man-made thing. If you was just to, if you was just to <laughs> be, you know, let let nature take its course, your hair is gonna get really long. I mean, I don't mean to have to tell you all this. Your your beard, guys, are gonna is gonna grow. You know, if you just let nature take its course. But if you want to turn it, you know, masculine, you say, no, I want to take, I want to take control of nature and shave my stuff off. It's very simple, guys. We just got to connect the, connect the dots. Okay? What, what these religions did was cut off all feminine. If you notice, all these religions came into power during that first generation at when they switched the, uh, the calendar, the timeline. And they said from B.C. to A.D. You ever notice that? Why did they make that switch from BC to AD? BC represent, represented when feminine was in the power. AD represents when masculine took over. Look it up, guys. Do your research. Do your history. When did all these religions become popular and start taking over and start slaughtering people and, you know, and used for warfare? It was all during that time. Okay. So I'm here to tell you that your bodily urges are representing the feminine. Yeah, you have all these urges. Yes, I mean, of course, we live in a society that's 100% masculine. So yes, it's going to be looked at because, you know, right now, yeah, you can't just do what your body urges you to do because you most likely you'll probably be in jail or something like that. <laughs> I'm just giving you the truth of the matter, though. I want you to know the truth. Okay. I want you to know that um, the whole idea that you only have one soulmate is a lie. You have soulmates. Okay? You have soulmates. You don't, tr again, you know, we don't trust the body and the intuition. Your intuition has, is the way for you to go. You know, we, we don't trust it anymore. Especially when we're picking a partner. We go to masculine route when we pick partners. So, uh, yeah, we go to masculine route when we pick partners. We, we judge the book by its cover. I mean, that's, a, that's a, a phrase that's been tossed around all over the place. Don't judge a book by its cover. But we do it more today than anything else. 
men, ladies, men and ladies, what's the first thing you notice? You know, I can ask something. What do you look for in a guy or, or girl? Is there any bold people in here that will tell that will put in the comments what they look for got what they look for in a guy or what they look for in a girl? I guarantee you, I can if you be honest, I want you to be the honest, you know what I mean? I don't want you to make it all pretty and nice for the comments. We're having a, we're having an intervention here. We're having a real conversation here. Don't try to make it pretty and on, you know, and, and you know, the cliche stuff. I want you to I want you to tell me what you really look for in a guy and what you really look for in a woman. And I guarantee you that it's going to be something that I can say that you're judging a book by its cover. <laughs> I like big butts and I can't lie, lie. Hey, you're being truthful. I like looks and money. I like looks and money. But, hey, I like that. Truthful. Because what I'm saying is that we've been programmed to judge the book by its cover. All right. So I'm, I appreciate everybody that's let me see some more so i appreciate you all because especially those two comments because that's real because that's what i was waiting for i was waiting for somebody to be real and say something like i like big butts or i like money <laughs> you know hey like i said let's have a real conversation this is why i love you guys let's have a real conversation okay uh so what we else we got here uh Tall, intelligent, funny, good energy, challenging, confident, intellectual. Okay. Basically, what I'm saying though is most of the time we're judging a book by its cover because guess what? Here's the thing, guys. I'm going to tell you the real truth about attraction. All those things that, that you might be typing in or whatever. Um, might have, you know, might have nothing to do with the next individual you fall, you fall for. Half the time, I'm, I guarantee you, all of you have somebody where you're like, I have no idea why I was attracted to this person. Because you're all, you're out of the phase, you're out of the, the expiration date was printed and you got out of the relationship. Now you're looking back like, um, now you're looking back like, why was I with this individual? Because that's what real traction is. You're not going to be able to know. Everything else that everybody's talking about is all perception. You're not going to know. You're going to be like, I have no idea. It's just something about this individual. My body is just, my body and emotions is just attracting me to this individual. Yes, they might have money or they might be good looking or they might have be funny but i'm talking about the deep deep essential attraction what made you literally fall for this person you're not going to be able to describe it okay now here's the thing a lot of the relationships we get into are not inspired by that energy they're inspired by the things that we're typing in here so we get with people that we don't even actually want to be with right because of these other things, we're judging the by his cover. Oh, this individual got a nice car, they got money, or this individual has very pretty model like, you know, nice thighs, nice breasts, and all that stuff. I need to be with that person. Right? And yes, that could lead to a, a simple spark, but it's not meant to last long. I'm talking about real deep connections where you can have the spiritual sex that I'm talking about. You can't have spiritual sex with everybody. And yes, animal sex is important. So you are supposed to, because that's natural, you are supposed to just get with people from time to time. Because that's natural. Okay? It's natural. Again, it's going against the ideologies we were raised with, yes. But remember, we were all taught lies. Everything is a lie. Okay, so of course it's going to go against, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense with how I was raised or how what we were taught. Yes, it's backwards. Okay, you got to remember how relationships even started in humanity. It was for you to gain power. Go back to the, go back to the early history of when arranged marriages and stuff. Every culture did it. 
I don't care what culture you're from. Every culture did arranged marriages because that's how it started. It was saying, hey, if I get my daughter to marry this guy, we can get into the, we can get a higher status or if I get such and such, we can get a higher status or more money. That's what it was about. That's what we're trained to think like now. So now we see we seek people who have higher status because we automatically have been trained to do that. When essentially what you can do, you don't have to search for somebody with higher status. You can be the higher status and evolve yourself. To be honest, here's the thing, guys. To be honest, it could be both of you are broke as ever. <laughs> OK, both of you could be broke as ever living on the streets together. If you guys have a powerful energy that's in tune with each other and you sit down and you come up with a common theme of one of, of a couple things that you want to manifest in this world, you can explode faster than anybody who's single with any opportunity. Okay. With any opportunity, because there's nothing like when the masculine and feminine starts working as one. No end, no one person can do that by themselves, okay? Some of the most powerful people on this earth became powerful with somebody else. They were married and they had, you know, whatever, whatever. Let's look at some of these. I'm Aquarius, so we gotta be friends first. If she can connect with my mind and flow with me, a bit then it's just sex with no connection. Okay. I don't again, I don't know why YouTube is blocking some of these comments. Like not even bad comments. Like <laughs> if you think you deserve his money, then you fucked up mentally and he should run. Get your own money. Okay, my experience with having a crush, I kept feeling pain even after I tried to go out of my shell and express to her how I felt. I was obsessed with the idea she was the one for me. Um, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. This is why, here's another reason why men, a lot of men are unsuccessful women. Um, because the, think about how the men was trained. Our whole ideology about women is totally backwards, God. A whole ideology about women are totally backwards. This is why 1% of men control about 70% of women. The, what, uh, uh, the alpha males, right? We, we call them the alpha males who just get all the women, right? Why do you think that is? Okay, why do you think that is? It's because our ideology, yes, a woman's ideology about men is messed up too, but it's nowhere near messed up as far as men's ideology towards women. That's why we're having trouble with women. I mean, not me, but <laughs> I mean, most men, when I say we, you know what I mean? Most men have trouble with women for that reason. Because see, what we do is we put our when all right when i have clients who say they have having problem problems with women what they do with the wrong thing that they're doing is they're putting their purpose on the woman why is that a problem putting your purpose on somebody else and what i mean by that is you're you're ready to cut everything off and you're ready to solely only do everything for this one person why is that a problem can anybody tell me why that's a problem even if you're a woman doing this to a man, why would that be a problem? Because there's women that do this to men too, and they're the ones that get cheated on, and the ones that are always wondering, what the what what did I do wrong? Why do I keep getting uh, trashed in relationships? Here's the thing: you got to have your own purpose. Okay, you can't put your purpose on somebody else. You're, you know, he, uh,
uh, you, you put your purpose. I mean, you don't put your purpose on somebody else. <laughs> okay. People respect you when you have your own purpose. All right. If, if both individuals have their own purpose. Now, it's even better if your purposes are related. Right. Then you're really on to something. Then you guys can work like a machine. But even so, that still doesn't matter. Her, her purpose could be to, to teach the children all around the world. And your purpose could be. Uh, I mean, who knows? I mean, <laughs> it could be totally different. Okay. So, Aline, you're saying how? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not reading these uh, these these comments. So, Antoine, are you doing consultations? Yes. Anybody that wants a consultation with me, um, the email's in the description of this video, Colt Healing 22. Every time I do a live stream, I do uh, I do sales. So, I uh, I do sales. So all my consultations are going to be a little bit cheaper. Again, that's that's uh, the astrology readings, the, the tarot readings, um, the how to make money from home session, the one on one consultations. Guys, if you need help with this or women, if you need help with this, if you want a one on cons one on one consultation with me on the phone. No time limit. So we can, uh, you know, get to the nitty gritty of what's going on again. A Colt Hill 22 at Gmail dot com. And the emails in the description of this video, of course, the hypnosis, the money spell. All right. Contact me and you can set yourself up for one of my services. So, Eileen, you're saying, how do you attract a more successful man? OK. Um, here's the thing. Most successful people are high vibrational. That's the thing. You got to. You got to make yourself more higher vibe and higher in vibration. The thing is, you got to you got to be valuable. You got to be more valuable. Successful people, successful men and women, women, they're very valuable. And that's why they're success successful. Um, they're very valuable in, so in society. They have big ideas. They can they have a lot of skill sets, whatever it may be. They can control a large amount of people. They are valuable to society. Somebody who owes a Fortune 500 company is way more valuable than somebody who's mopping floors at a local shop. It's sad, but it's the truth. So if you want to become more successful, you become more valuable. If you want to attract a higher vibrational mate, you need to become more valuable. What do you bring to the table? What can you do? Let's just say you want to attract a, a multimillionaire individual. What do you bring to the table? How can you how can you um, supplement what this individual is already doing? What can you give them in exchange for their attention? OK, that's what you want to think you want to. Boost your energy up. And it might not. And here's the thing. It doesn't always have to be materialistic things. It could be just your energy. You could just be just a good behind time. You can make just somebody so happy like you're like the light bulb in their darkness. You're a light bulb to them. And they're like, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to work. A man to do that. They'd be like, you don't need to work. You don't need to do nothing because you were just my light in my life. Because it's in a man's nature to want to do that, right? Be like, look, I'll take care of you, do all this stuff. You, you, Because you make me who I am. You make me want to work harder. You make me want to reach the top. You are my happiness. You see? Be somebody's happiness. Be somebody's positivity. Be somebody's good vibes. And you will always shoot to the top, no matter if you're a man or a woman. Now, if you're somebody's negative energy all the time, OK. If you're negative all the time, you're somebody's negative energy. You got to think about how you come off to people. Some of you guys are really, really negative. 
the spirit, I told you, the spiritual community is so negative. I, I have six different businesses, and this is the only business that I deal with so-called awakened people, right? And in this business, I, I deal with so many negative people. I don't deal with that many negative people in my other businesses. Everybody's so negative here in the spiritual community. Everybody's so miserable and so low vibrational. You see? So low vibrational and miserable. Guys, you got to get your energy up. Then you'll attract anybody that you need. You'll attract anything that you need. That's the secret. It's your energy. I mean, the law of attraction states that all the time, but it's such a cliche movement. But I'm trying to tell you, it's your energy. Are you likable to people? Do you make people smile? Do you make people laugh? Do you make people feel comfortable? Do you make people feel good? All this is because of your energy that you're projecting. So if you, I get on the phone with people all the time and they're like, oh my God, I hate people. I hate the world. All that is projecting out. As soon as you meet somebody, you don't have to say nothing. They just get that energy. I hate people. I, and they're just feeling that. And they're like, whoa, whoa, I don't, I'm good on hanging out with her or him. You have, this is why I'm always shifting your perception on other individuals and telling you that people is the real currency. I told you this, this summer solstice is coming up. You guys got to get this together, right? You guys got to get this stuff. If you need help, like I said, one-on-one -on -one consultations, set, let's set them up. If you need to learn knowledge of self, get the astrology reading. I'll break it down for you. And then you could do a follow-up reading where I'll break it down deeper on the phone and stuff like that. You want to learn about, I mean, again, the services are there for you. Okay? Like I said, this, the services are really, really time-consuming and take a lot of energy from me. But I do this them for you, and I try to make them as cheap as possible. Somebody, says, oh, somebody just recently told me my astrology reading was, was too expensive. And I said, I always go back to this lady that I, that has a shop, like literally right around the corner from my house. And her astrology readings are eight hundred dollars. And she doesn't hop, you know, she doesn't do that. She didn't do what I do for the astrology readings where I kind of make it a lesson as well. I break down what everything means. I just don't tell you what you need to hear. I break down. Anybody said astrology reading for me, you know, I go in order. I tell you about the rulerships. I explain what they are. Then I go into the planets. I explain what they are and what this means for you. Then I go into the houses and I explain what they are. So not only you're getting a reading, you're also getting a lesson as well. She doesn't do that. And I, I, you know, I don't mean to talk so much about my services and stuff. Again, please don't get butt hurt on that. Because like I said, if you understand reality, you should you should be. Um, exposing your services to us. I tell people all the time, if you have a service, please let us know because you deserve to get compensation for your hard work. All right. So again, I'm going to let you guys know if you have a service, comment, put it in the, uh, put it in the comments, your website, your, what you do or your Facebook page or whatever it is. So people can see it. Cause remember, um, as soon as I'm done, this goes up right on, uh, right on YouTube. So even though it could be somebody who's looking at it two weeks from now might be interested in something that you're, that you're, uh, that you're given. Okay. That's what it's about. I keep telling people, if you want to get away from society and build our own society, that means we have to start becoming more valuable to each other. Okay, we have to start becoming more valuable to each other. We have to start interacting and doing business with each other. All right. So T Flex TV is saying, do we need birthday time? Having the birthday time is been is the best. But I can do a reading for you without the birthday time. You're just gonna lack some information. Now, what I do, what I'll do, if you don't have your birthday time, I'll give you a discount. OK, because you're not going to get as much information, but you're still going to get some things that can really help you out. But in the meantime, T Flex TV, you know, like I said, what you can do, I'll do this just for you since you don't have your birth time. I give you a discount 
I'll give you the reading, right? But I want you to find your birth time. There's ways you can do it. Just Google it. Okay. There, you might have to pay for it, but hey, I mean, um, you can find it out. And then once you get your birth time, we can do another read and I'll give you another discount and we can mix and match and do it, do it like that. That works out. Again, I'm always trying to help people out. Um, so LG, you're talking about this time guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, he isn't though. He's quite respectable. He just takes no bullshit. <laughs> Well, yeah, but basically, what like I said, what I really wanted to let you know, guys, um, is the importance of your sexuality and spirituality, because here's the truth. Your sexuality is your spirituality, okay? I told you already that, um, you know, your kundalini is your sexual energy. What you need, what, you, what, you're, what you're trying to achieve is for this energy to go up your spine and revitalize your whole being by having it touch your crown chakra. When you achieve that, you become enlightened, even for a moment. Then the thing is, after you experience enlightenment, you're going to try to want to um, transmute that energy. I'm pretty sure you've heard of sexual transmutation. And you try to be, you try to become in that state permanently. That's what the meditations is for. So you got to experience it first and bring it up there. Then you got to, um, you know, then you got to revitalize that energy and try to keep it around yourself permanently. That's when you become awakened. All right. Now, of course, that takes many, many long years. This is no supplement. This is, I mean, this is no do it for two weeks and all of a sudden you're enlightenment. Do it for one day and you open your third eye. Again, I know there's all this crap on YouTube like that. But it doesn't work. to be honest. It doesn't work because this is not a one-time thing. This is a lifetime practice. Okay, it's be open with your sexuality. Yes, it's very scary. Okay. Yes, it's very. Yeah, ain't no two week trial. Yeah, <laughs> ain't no two week trial. Yes, it's going to be scary when you open yourself up to people, when you just let your body draw yourself to people without preconceptions, because here's the thing. Com really, really confident people do that where they don't have no preconceptions because they're not searching for anything. They're not trying to gain something from people. People that have all these lists of all these things that somebody needs to be for them, you know, that, those are really insecure individuals. The longer the list that you have for a man or a woman that you need to be with, the, the more insecure you are. Real confident people is like, I already have everything that I need on my own. Why would I need to take something from somebody else? So what they do is they lead, they let their bodies and their emotions lead them to new people. And this is why successful people have long lasting relationships, longer lasting relationships. Now, again, don't quote me on this, but I'm just saying. And because what I mean by success is not just money success. I mean, good health. I mean, good family relationships. I mean, good relationships. I mean, total happiness and also money. So it's all the four. So just because somebody's super rich doesn't mean they're truly successful because they could be a slave to their company or a slave to money. All right. My version of success. I mean, everybody comes at a different version. But again, good health, good happiness, energy in my body so I can go out and, you know, uh, great ties with my family, with my two sons and, you know, my mother and my brothers and stuff. And um, ability to go on vacation when I want to, and I don't have to be tied down to one specific thing. Um, I could buy anything that I desire. That will be true success to me. Okay. So that's what I mean. And when you're successful, your relationships are going to be successful. So that's why. So again, people with low self-esteem, they have a whole entire list of what this, what somebody else, what somebody else needs. All right. Oh, this person needs to have this. This person needs to be like this. This person needs on and on and on. Low self-esteem, high self-esteem people. They don't care. They're, they want the experience of true connection. They're not looking to take something. OK. Not looking to take something. <laughs> like I said, your list is looking for what you're trying to take from somebody. Don't be a parasite. 
Okay. So Rise Above TV, you said you are a yoga instructor in South Carolina. My business is Okra Yoga. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, my brother, I'm going to follow you. Everybody follow Rise TV's um, Instagram. Again, let's support each other. Okay. Let's support each other. I appreciate you. Uh, maybe sometime soon what I'll do is when I, I'll do some live streams with somebody else. So you can speak your truth. You can promote what you need to promote. Again, let's let's support each other. Oh, I, South I'm sorry. I said South Carolina. Southern California. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, let's uh, follow his IG. And um, so anybody in that uh, anybody in that location, you can get some one on one yoga sessions. Um, that's good. That's good. Yoga is good for you. So what else? I'm an introverted personal trainer. What are your thoughts on attracting clientele? Um, your in introverted personal trainer. Uh, you can use social media. OK, so let's just say you don't want to go out and speak to people and stuff like that. Learn. Uh, I advise you to get my how to make money from home course. OK, I advise you to get my make money from home course. That's going to help you out. All right. But just just to give you some information now, get into using some Facebook ads, get into using some videos. Um, If you have clients right now, make a video of you with one of your clients and have the and at the end of the video have that client explaining how good they felt how much weight they're losing how how excited you get them and turn that into a facebook ad and and make you know and target everybody in your local area you see but again you can either get a one-on-one -on -one consultation from me and i'll go deeper and further I, I might help you out write out a plan for you or you can um get the how to make money from home session OK, that's going to help you out as well. So, again, a cold heel in 22 at Gmail dot com. The email is in the description of this video. So I am working on a big project that I can't really feel at this time, but I love to promote it on over here when I can. I'm fine with or without that opportunity. Uh, yeah, just let me know what, what you, you know. Let me know personally. Hit me up in the email or something. Let me know personally. Uh, and yeah, if I like the idea. We can promote it on the channel. We'll make we'll do a live stream with us on here together, split screen. Anybody that wants to speak their truth or anybody got some services, again, that's what it's about. Okay. Um, I mean, I know it's not a super huge channel, but <clears throat> any promotion is you know better than none, right? You know, and I have some loyal followers. I don't know, you guys are loyal as ever, man. <laughs> you know, uh you guys are loyal as ever. Like my followers, I appreciate all of you. I don't know exactly how many subscribers I have on my Facebook right now. Last time I checked, I think it was around 8,000 something, almost at 9,000. So I appreciate it, all of you guys. Um, all of you guys that have gotten readings from me and consultations from me. Um, you don't know how it is to have to start something and then you get all this support, all that support. You know, this is why I really advise everybody to really just do what you love and put yourself out there. I mean, when I first started this channel, I wasn't expecting, you know, all the love that I got. Let's just say that, like, I was just going on there. You know, you go all the way back to my first video. I just, I mean, a lot of my videos are gone. If, if you've been following me for a long time, uh, I was hacked at one point in time and I had over 100 videos deleted. So, uh, yeah <laughs> so not all my videos are here anymore but i had i have over 100 videos that were deleted but hey still it is what it is you keep pushing you keep moving okay you keep moving so um anything else i want to bring up to this oh uh, just to go over again all right the main key thing is here is that you want to be you want to be open with other people all right because your sexuality is your spirituality all right. Some of the, mo the most successful people in the world. And like I told you, my definition of success all have high sex drives. All right. Napoleon Hill stated that as well in his book, Think and Grow Rich, because what he did was he. Um, what he did was he interviewed 
the top successful people in his era and he realized that they all had they were all very sexual beings okay sexual beings cuz again that's energy so the more sexual you are the more comfortable what i want what i mean to say i want to take i want to say the more comfortable with your sexuality you are the more attractive you become the more attractive you become the more successful you become simple period people will be attracted people will want to support you people will want to and like i said i don't mean physical attraction because yeah you don't have to be you don't have to be physical attract physically attractive if your energy is attractive everybody is gonna not everybody of course you're gonna have some haters right but a lot of people are gonna love you and support you okay that's another thing i want to say not everybody's gonna like you yes not everybody's gonna like you okay you got to remember that all right when you start getting Let's just say when you got your business and you start getting bigger and bigger, when people start hating on you, that's when you know you're doing something right. Okay. But it's, it's always going to be a small amount of, of individuals compared to the love that you'll get. That's how you know when the love is like this and the hate is like this. So there's a little bit of hate, right? But then there's all this love that you get. And that's when you know you're doing something right. Okay, that's when you know you're doing something right. You're speaking to your people. Okay, so again, it's about being open. Um, try to throw your try to throw your list out the window. Of this person needs to have this. This person needs this. This person needs this. It just so happens today is Friday too, guys. Today is the day of Venus, right? So I want you guys to go out today, tonight. I want you to hit up some friends and say, let's go out somewhere. Let's you know, let's have some fun today. This is the day of Venus. Remember, follow your days, right? Monday, moon day, Mars day, Wednesday is Mercury day, Thursday is Jupiter day, Friday is Venus day, Saturday is Saturn day, Sunday is Sunday. So today is Venus day. So what I want you to do is have some fun, enjoy your life. Uh, enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy your lover. Enjoy your friendships. Go out. Do something new. Have an exciting time. Go to an amusement park. Go to a museum. Go to out and dance. I always tell everybody dancing is very important. That is connected to your kundalini as well. See, real kundalini practitioners would, will tell you about dance. Why do you think all our ancient ancestors, they were always dancing? Everything was dance. You know, around the fire, right? You're because you're you're pumping that sexuality. You're moving your hips, your body, your feminine, your feminine energy. Somebody asked me early, how can you, earlier? How can you tap into your feminine energy? Dancing, move your hips, move your body. Yes, men and women, guys with them stiff behind hips, right? How you think you're going to be making love to your woman top uh, with all your might if you got stiff hips? You need to move them hips. <laughs> you need to get some blood in them hips and circulate. You know, you know. <laughs> you guys gotta, you gotta, gotta be, stop being so stiff. Do some yoga. Start exercising more, stretching more. You know, breathing deeper. So then, when you're making love with your woman, she can feel your vibration. I told you already, you got to match her vibration. So ladies, don't be afraid to move. Even if you're on the bottom, don't be afraid to move your hips and show the man your vibration so he can catch the vibration and you guys can dance together and you guys can create that electricity and revitalize all your chakras. Okay. So again, guys, match your vibrations. Okay. I'm going to break it down one more time again for you men because I know the men need help. <laughs> your woman, your lady friend has four, can have four different types of orgasms. Okay. Try your best to touch upon all four of those orgasms. Again, you have the clitoris orgasm. Okay. If you don't know where it's at, maybe you need to, <laughs> maybe you need to Google it. Okay, but you, you should know where the clitoris is at by now. I hope, hopefully, if you don't. That's okay. I mean, you know, again, just do your information. That's another thing I noticed about men. Men are scared to to research. Men are scared to learn. We have this idea. Oh, I know everything already because I watched some porn before. <laughs> 
All right. It's not what it is, guys. So the clitoris orgasm, then you have the G-spot orgasm, which is another famous one, right? Don't know where it's at. It's right at the roof. It's kind of a rough, rough spot at the top. It's like probably like an inch up, you know, inch in, inch up. Okay. Another spot, the deep spot, all the way in the back. It's about five inches in at the top. Okay. About five inches in, and you got it, you got it, it's at the top. Then you have the A spot all the way back as well, but it's at the bottom. Okay. It's real sex education for you guys. <laughs> okay, ladies, I'm trying to help you guys out. Men, I'm trying to help you out too. Okay. So anyway. Spread the love today, okay? Spread the love today. Spread your energy. Be open towards people. Speak to people. Be comfortable. Get your blood flowing. Like I told you guys, go out and dance tonight. Go out and spend time with your friends. Don't be cooped up in the house all day. Don't be on your computer all day. Becoming radioactive, all right? You know, go out there, enjoy your life, okay? And then tomorrow, after you've enjoyed your life today, Tonight, <clears throat> you spend some time with your friends. Tomorrow, you know, do some spirituality, do some yoga in the morning, do some meditation during the day. Um, you know, take a nature walk. Again, it's all about balance. You gotta gotta balance your life out. Okay. So, uh, is there any other questions before I get up out of here? While I'm waiting for questions, again, if you want astrology readings, tarot readings. The how to make money from home session, the money spell, one on one consultations with me. OK. Uh, whatever it is, all my services, guys, all my services. Um, boom, a coat healing 22 at Gmail dot com. The emails in the description of this video. Like I said. Those of you that want to really take advantage of this energy. It's coming up the uh, summer solstice. Again, I advise you to get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me so you can really take advantage of the summer solstice. Okay, take advantage of the summer solstice. Again, the summer solstice is June twentieth to June twenty-fourth. Forget what you heard on you on Google. The peak of the solstice is on June twenty-second. The energy comes in June twentieth. Energy goes out June twenty-fourth. You got that time period to really, really, you know, do some powerful things. This is this is the gate of cancer. And it's funny how I'm talking about sexuality right now, because cancer is a representation of that as well, because it's connecting. With others, OK. LG, uh, my next live stream, I have no clue. I see again, I do my things feminine. I just let myself flow. I don't have really a schedule. I let myself flow. Hey, I might get on here tomorrow. If, if, if everybody, you know, let me know what you guys think. Should I get on here tomorrow? <laughs> like if I have the time, because again, I do do a lot of sessions and stuff like that. And again, I have other businesses as well. But I'll try my best to get on here uh, tomorrow. So hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. I might be able to get on here tomorrow. I don't know what the topic will be. So if you guys want me to talk about a specific topic, put it in the comments right now. Put it in the comments, right? And I'll see if I can talk about that topic. All right. So if nobody has any other questions, I guess I'll let you guys go so you can have fun today and enjoy yourself or enjoy your night, depending on where you're at in the world. Make sure you do something with somebody else, though. Key thing here. Make sure you have some fun with somebody else. All right. So you can raise your kundalini and so you can start becoming successful. So, guys, I love you. Peace and love. Appreciate everybody from all over the world. Appreciate you, Miss Green Eyes, L Spitter Visions, LG, uh, Conscious Creations, uh, Rise Above TV. Make sure you follow him on on. on on IG, Ashley, appreciate you. Antonio, appreciate you. Ang Wu Tang, appreciate you. Peaceful Warrior, I appreciate you. Ari Sunday, I appreciate you. Aileen Kelly, I appreciate you. I love you all. Keep your energy high. Until next time, I get with you guys. Thank you. Much love. One love.